Hey, what's up, YouTube? I'm Jared from It's HGG Gaming here, bringing you part 15 of Batman Arkham Asylum. And last time where we ended off, we were um, going with Professor Young, who ended up dying because we were trying to stop the Joker from getting her notes, but I guess he did anyway. And um, now we're following um, Warden Sharp's blood trail, and that led us to these thugs, who we are about to beat up. You're always you okay, uh, buddy? Ow. Oh, hey, hey. Ow. What happened? I'm really just trying to deal with this guy right now. Dishonored him. Stop it. Yeah, hit him again. Oh, ow. Get him this is why I added stuff on his face. There's a lot of guys like this. And I can get them. I will be okay. Shotgun shells everywhere. the showers out the other side that was easy <laughs> Just stay where you are. Last thing I need is you running free. Poor children. I'll see. Well, that's poison ivy. If you guys don't know who she was. Um, Pamela Isley was transformed by a science experiment going wrong into a plant-human hybrid with chlorophyll flowing through her veins instead of blood. She developed a toxic touch and a pheromone-fueled talent for seduction. Her crimes have become more ecologically focused as she has increasingly abandoned her human side, identifying more with the natural world. Her unique brand of eco-terrorism often puts her into conflict with Batman, whose iron will usually protects him from her seductive powers. Um, encourage and direct growth of a plant life. Um... Skin secretes a toxin that can be make her touch deadly. 
pathological drive to rid the world of humanity and make it full of plant life. Okay, um, that dude's hanging from something. I don't know what he's doing in there. <laughs> I go up here. Ooh, what is going on? That's creepy. Oh, it was a Ridley trophy. Ridley, Ridley trophy, Ridler trophy. Um. Clayface. Yeah. Um, he's more of a uh, Clayface is more of a underrated Batman character. He's like one of not one of his main villains, but um, he is pretty scary, obviously. Um, he can alter his form by adopting nearly, but an appearance of nearly anyone. Malleable physical makes him extremely difficult to injure or contain. His touch can be poisonous, and obviously, as you can see, he took the form of Cash. I'm up here! Now I gotta go get Warden Sharp. Harley! Ah! You have to help me. Ivy? Gee, you look like crap. Maybe I can sneak you some shampoo. The plants, can't you hear them? They're crying out to me in agony. Yeah, well, I really don't have time for this. Please let me out. They'll die without me. I don't know, Red. You're not on Mr. J's party list. Oh, well. Uh, please! Uh, ah, what the heck. I'll cut you a break. That feels so much better. I could watch this two all day. What a riot! And speaking of riots, here's a bit of civil unrest I cooked up just for you. <laughs> <laughs> Crazy, psychotic people coming at me. What are you waiting for? Cut! He's taken control of the security overrides. I have the sequence generator, but without the terminal in my office, it's useless. Your terminal has been destroyed. Give me the sequencer. What? Oh, yes, of course. It's useless. Half the code won't get you anywhere. We are trapped in here. And another gadget, a cryptographic sequencer. There's always a way out. Always. What am I supposed to be scanning? This? Alright, let's do it. All you basically have to do is find the frequency and then you override it. Because Batman's a genius. You stay here. Lock this gate when I leave. Oh, good idea. Can't have someone of my stature falling back into that. Oh, house. shut up, Quincy. Now I know that poison ivy's loose. What happened to all the crazy people? Wait, where am I supposed to be going? Are you on the right way? Yes, I am. Oh, hey, what's up? Oh, dolphin, dolphin. Stupid little kid. People, one voice, and everyone. Surprise! You know, Bats, I always thought there was a spark 
between us. Actually, for the most part, pretty easy. Um, I'll find an audio tape. Oh, that. Good patient evaluation one. Patient name is Victor Zaz. Diagnosed clinically insane after the murder of at least 20 women in the Gotham area. Hello, Victor. I'm Dr. Cassidy. Seeing as this is our first session, let's spend some time getting to know each other. I don't need to know you, Miss Cassidy. Everything is meaningless. Don't you think that's a very negative outlook on life, Victor? You've no doubt read my file. Yes, yes I have. It says you come from a wealthy family, that your parents died, and how you lost all the money gambling. And none of it matters. Why do you keep saying that, Victor? Because the only thing that does matter is the mark. Have you seen my work, Miss Cassidy? If you're referring to the marks on your... Of course I mean my tally marks. And I have a space for yours. Do you want to see where... Something is wrong with that guy. Well, that's obvious, but yeah. Now I gotta use the sequencer to get this. That was pretty easy. Patient pacification system deactivated. Oops, I'm stuck. Okay. Now, where did she go? I guess right here. Oh, I hear lunatics. Oh, okay, come back. That didn't work. Is there another one? No, alright. Well, guys, I'm probably going to have to pause it here because I'm at uh, 14 minutes and 30 seconds. So uh, thank you guys for watching. If you enjoyed, leave a like um, and make sure to subscribe for more. Um, I'm Jared from It's HGTG Gaming, and I'll see you guys next time.